The making project that I'm leading is a collaboration with IDAT at the University of Plymouth. It's <clears throat> the result of a creative data lab. The creative data lab is developing an emotionally intelligent operating system for the school. That came from a project at the opening of the new Tate building, the Switch House, uh, which was called Teva. And we're developing that onwards to use artificial intelligence to create a chatbot that will respond to the mood of the school. We'd like to achieve a piece of software that uses artificial intelligence to talk to students, a little bit like Siri, so that students can interact with it, that the chatbot will be able to analyse the chat and develop something called sentiment analysis. So IBM use something called Watson, which is a sentiment analyzer, and it can analyze the mood of the text that it's, that it's analyzing. So from the chatbot, we should be able to develop the mood of the school if enough students use the chatbot. We're also going to create a structure which will house the chatbot in different locations around the school. So there'll actually be an installation similar to the one that was used at um, the opening of the Switch House for the opening weekend. The idea was developed by the Year 9 students that are involved in the project. The person at IDA, uh, who's called B. Arga, she worked on the project at, at the opening of the Switch House for Tate uh, and based on her collaboration and collaboration with students from Plymouth College of Art, our Year 9s came up with this way of, of using data to get an idea of the mood of the school. My making project is to teach science. Uh, well, I'll be teaching Year 7s year eight and year nine science, uh, just to help them out in science really. Chemistry, biology and physics, I, it's across the board really. I'm best at biology and, uh, uh, biology and physics, but chemistry I can do as well. Uh, preferably a mainstream format, so like uh, just, uh, just uh, standing on the, in front of everyone saying, this is what you do. That's what you learn. And then I speak for a bit and then say. Uh, my making project for about the last 15, 16 months has been learning to play the drums. I've always been interested in music, I've always loved music, so that was the sort of connection for me or the starting point for me. I play guitar already, not very well, but I do. And I've always been fascinated by the drums, but I've never had an opportunity. So when I met Alan, who works in music care and he told me he was a drum teacher, I just sort of ju jumped to the opportunity. So I think it was just a, just a nice surprise sort of thing and an ideal opportunity to do it. I don't ever actually see the making project finish because I don't think I'll ever get to a level of ability where I think, oh, I'm good enough to stop. So I just want to keep getting better and better. I think it's something I'll do for pretty much the rest of my life. I don't think, um, in the short term, I could set myself a goal of playing live with a band but there are many, many more things other than that. I just want to keep getting better and better, learning different techniques, learning different styles. I'm really just at the start at the moment. Well, I actually spoke to Alan about this at the start of the year. I've talked about maybe doing some drum exams, and Alan sort of like looked at my drumming and sort of gave me a level where I was at. So that would be one easy way of taking tests and drum exams, music exams, to do it. Um, well, I think I can self-evaluate, you know, if I can play along to a song or play along with a band, that would be a huge step from where I am now. So if I get to that point in the next 18 months, two years, then I know I will have progressed already as well.